Yet again, we got a new air gun, not new, but a new version of the Reximax drone. Welcome to Airbus Review SA in conjunction with Pelagons.com uh, in our new store. As you can see, numerous guns, but today we've got the Reximax drone. It is the G1, which is the Reximax drone. thrown in dual colors but today we've got the Reximax throne it is the G1 which is the camo one look at that would you have a look at that so this is the new Reximax throne so it's got a bigger plenum it comes out with a half inch UNF thread in the front now um, numerous things that have been updated you can see it can take dovetail um, scope mounts or the Picatinny scope mounts if you would wish this gun has been worked out with a new regulator so you won't have the problem of it leaking um, it's got a safety burst disc at the bottom here and yeah this gun is very adjustable if you can see you can adjust your hammer here at the back and then in the front here you can adjust your port your transfer port so you can adjust it from this side up and down obviously in other countries you can get um, different caliber barrels that you can put in here today we've got the 0.22 and we are going to go do a five shot grouping with this thing more or less you so you can see it straight out of the box that's why they make the reximax throne in dual colors <laughs> if you're walking with a jacket that's camo it won't get lost <laughs> just a personal joke anyway um yes when you fill this gun you fill it up to 200 bar and you get about roughly about 50 shots per full and um, I don't know if you guys have been seeing I'm wearing the Reximax cap you get a free cap inside every box and the box has this box has been updated to be a nice box but yeah there we go that's that okay sweet I just wanted to mention that you've got two gauges. The one is going to be the bottle gauge and the other one is going to be the regulator gauge. If you would like to adjust your regulator, that's where you would adjust it. Please bear in mind if you adjust this one up, meaning it's on 100 bar and you want to go up to 150, you can adjust it. But if you want to go down from 150 to 100 bar, you're going to then have to release your pressure in the front here. So you're going to have to turn out your bottle, fire a shot, all the air out, Make sure that there's no air in anything here. Uh, after you shot it without the bottle on, then you can adjust it down and then screw it back in. Then you'll see it's on 100 and then you go on from there. So, have a look at it. More or less bullpup style. Very nice and neat. I really like the Reximax Throne. Plenty of people have been saying that they love to shoot it with the um, slugs. I don't know which slugs they use, but some of them say they have had good luck with the slugs on this gun because of the adjustability of it uh, we'll see what we'll shoot today the thing is another good feature that we've got if you see this lever here it is a spoon type lever we've got the updated thing that you can slide over here tighten it down so it becomes a biathlon lever so that is additional extras that you can get with it so you can also change that to that biathlon one which is then quite nice um yeah let's go and shoot a little bit with it so you see there that's the safety safety on safety off and then you can pull your trigger we're going to go fill up this gun i'm going to put on a t eagle 2 to 16 by 44 sfir um, and we're going to go shoot some bullets with it or some pellets let's call it that way so yeah let's go take this one out and let's go see what the grouping is like on the version 2 this is the version 2 throne um, updates like i said it's going to make it way better than the previous one let's go shoot it can't wait but before we go i just want to quickly show you this is what you get inside this box you get two magazines the reximax throne room magazines and if you see there it's a 12 shot magazine each if you have a look it's got like a little glassy there 
to show you an index window on what number shot you are. That's quite a good feature. You get a quick coupler with some Allen keys and some O-rings there, barrel O-ring. And then this big piece here, this block, that's the single loader. I just want to quickly show you how the single loader looks. I think this is pretty cool. So you would put that thing in just like your magazine from the side and then you can slide in your pellets one by one. So it's got like a little ramp that they can fall down. So that's quite a nifty feature. Then you get a little rag to wipe down your gun or your optics because it's very nice actually. You get some scope. You can adjust your scope in with these targets or you can use it as targets. There's another one. Um, <coughs> your warranty card or your shot card that you can write with your feet per second. You get obviously your owner's manual and it obviously tells you how everything you can adjust. Your butt pad up and down, how to trigger adjust, jam ammo. This is very nice. How to remove your barrel. This is I can't, I can't explain it to you. It is just awesome. When, when, when the manufacturer actually gives you a gun, they should all have a little magazine like this or a little booklet to show you how these things work. Because most of the people just, it seems easy to use. Most of it is, but some people have never ever touched a PCP in their life and they also want to enjoy it. But there is some few homework idea things that you need to do before you start shooting. So a manual in that sense is pretty cool. I think it's awesome. But yeah, let's go shoot it at 50 meters and see the grouping. Reximax, made in Turkey. The quality is pretty good. Um, parts also available. Let's shoot you at 50 meters. So these velocity pellets that we're using, 18.13s, they're not bad, they fly really straight. Um, obviously you can adjust this gun to your liking for accuracy as well. I mean, it's pretty quiet like it is now as well it's quite short but it's still quiet it's got this next camouflage micro printing on it so it looks pretty cool in the camouflage as well look oh snap it's the same as my jacket so it will be good for some hunting scenarios but yeah let's put it down range quickly and carry on nice nah, this is pretty good Oh, pull that one. 61. But if you check the speeds that it's shooting at, pretty good. The regulator is working. They've got a new upgraded regulator seals and so on. Um, this gun is, like I said, the V2. It's pretty promising. And yeah, it's quite affordable here in South Africa. Uh, with a power wheel adjuster that you can adjust up and down to um, obviously cut down your flow of air through your port. You can adjust it up or down. And obviously has your hammer spring adjuster here at the back. So <clears throat> just have a look. Once you go too much forward that way, all right, towards the gun, sometimes if you go too much, you won't be able to cock the gun. Then it won't catch by the trigger shear. So just check for that. So just make sure you take out your magazine. And also another thing is what the people don't know is this magazine loads from this left-hand side to the right, not the other way around. Just have a look when you load it. Your port must be to the top, not to the bottom. Look at the top, yeah? That's where your port is for your barrel. So you load it in from the left hand with the clear screen facing you and obviously the pellet facing forward. And then that's how you would load it. Okay, so let's go see the grouping down at 50 meters. Let's make the rifle safe. There we go. Let's go check. So we took a walk down here to 50 meters if you have a look that was my last shot that i just shot now where i said i pulled it so if you have a look with that one minus there look at all of those marks there that was all the shots that i've done down at 50 meters i mean that's pretty awesome excuse my little bit of a pulling there but yeah look at that 
the gun is pretty awesome remember just to fill that one up to 200 bar down to 100 bar then fill it up as all other Krolls Rex and Max guns do not shoot them below 100 bar you're gonna hurt the main valve so yeah if you stick to those normal basic things and just clean it nicely and obviously I just took the gun shot it straight out didn't even clean the barrel and I'm getting this grouping I mean if you do clean the barrels and let it in with your pellets that you're gonna shoot you're definitely gonna get better accuracy or worse depending on what pellets you use um, you the judge go and buy the gun check out the different pellets to use but yeah the, this this Reximax drone number V2 the version 2 I think they've done a good job I mean even filling it up from zero it was quickly it was done and dusted the seals were working awesome I would say well done to Rexy Max you know they're always improving the air guns um, they do listen to the customers say niggly chances of saying yeah oh, listen I don't like this I don't like that you know we would like rather um, uh, half inch UNF thread in the front you know that's what they do these guys although they're in Turkey they really don't understand English that well but they will see what the customers needs are and they will adjust themselves to what we would like you know obviously to get their products out there so yeah i'm pretty ha happy with the accuracy um overall quality of the gun is also pretty awesome i mean if you guys do have problems with them bring it into pelleguns.com we do have parts or otherwise if you know how to fix your own gun i mean not condoning you need to do it yourself but if you can you can buy parts by us we've got parts for it so yeah if you like this video please like share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video where we're going to do other guns and be like kick-ass videos yeah it's just, just basically showing you how they work you know from the beginning to the end that's it just that's it ba, 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 ba. Mix, mix. beat that let's go man. <laughs>